Hi, and welcome to the April No Limits newsletter. How's your spring going? Here in Calgary, we're just having an amazing spring so far. We I mean, training is training is awesome. It's fun to go outside and exercise. I'm going to do this in two videos. First one's going to be a brief uh, summary of what's going on, and then the second video is going to be a training video. So you can skip this one, move to the next one, or watch them both. It really is up to you. Um, the biggest news for No, no Limits right now is uh, we are off for another training camp for Wildflower, and we leave April 24th and we come back May 2nd. If you want to come, we can probably still squeeze you still into the camp. It's uh, I've got my shirt on here, the Wildflower Camp, or the Wildflower shirt. It's an amazing Woodstock Triathlon Fun Field weekend. It's just... It's so much fun. And we go there a week early or five days early. We do five days of training and some of the best training you'll ever ever go to. And then we'll race on the weekend. And you can do half Ironman on Saturday or an Olympic on Sunday. Or you can be crazy like a bunch of us and do the Wildflower Squared where you do both of it. I'm so pretty excited for that. Now, when we come back from Wildflower, that'll be May, beginning of May. Then what happens is all our outdoor classes begin so we're no longer riding indoors uh, for the brick class we take that and we go outside and we ride in south calgary here and i all the spring classes now are open for registration the only one that's not open so far is the open water swim classes so the lake swims they'll open up probably i'm still gonna see how warm the water is we're still i'm not swimming in april for sure <clears throat> will i swim in may maybe We'll have to go in and see what the water's like. We've really had such a warm spring so far. The water may get warm enough for swim early. Otherwise, we'll start the open water swims in June, and that will run from June till August. But those classes are up and running, and you can see there'll be a link uh, to the classes somewhere below the video or somewhere on this page, or send me an email if you have any questions. <clears throat> The other thing that's going on is we are in the process of creating new No Limits uh, racing and training gear. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. That should be ready, I think, probably in two weeks. And then I'll send you guys out all the links so that you can order what you want. Um, how is your uh, training going? For me, I always do a bunch of little races. And then I have my key race that I want to do really well at. So I categorize the races either a b or c or usually it's just c's and then a big a at the end my a race is ironman canada and i'm very excited for that coming up i guess in a week and a half we're off to california so that would be i'd classify that as a b race i'm excited for that one but i do recommend you guys categorize your races and then you know see how you're doing and use each race as a as an opportunity for you to learn about how your fitness is and your you, you know training paces, your heart rate, your power, all that stuff is very valuable. It's when you go into your next race. Now, where we're at now today is we're at mid-April, and I've already done three events. So I've done a half Ironman, I completed a 5K race, and then a 10K run. So I've gone, I've already done three three events and for me it's fun to do that it's nice to see what my body is able to do you know and i like looking at the data afterwards what was my heart rate what was my pace what was my first kilometer you know what was my first five minutes was the pace too fast was it too slow and then you can take all that information and use it for the next race and i think it's very very useful when i first started doing triathlons i would not do any other races if it did not have a swim or a bike in it which means I wouldn't do a 5K, I wouldn't do a 10K, I wouldn't do a half marathon. I'm like, I'm not doing that. I wouldn't have a bike or a swim in there. But now that as I'm older and I look back, I think I should have done more running events. Running events are really a great way for you to test out your fitness and also practice your pacing strategies. And you're also racing against people who may just be pure runners, and that's kind of fun too to see where you fit. And I also realized too, years ago, and I looked at the results and go, hey, that person's a triathlete. That one's a triathlete too. So a lot of triathletes are adding running events to their plan as well. So you don't have to just do triathlons. Add some running events. And there's oftentimes the running events are a lot cheaper than triathlons. So you can do one every one or you know two weeks and just to see uh, how you're doing. And I, I do like that. So there's, there's tons of running events, especially starting now in the spring. 
There's lots of events you can choose from. So get on the website and pick up some running events. To summarize the first video, I hope I can, I'm gonna keep this really short. What, what's happening is the spring classes are open. Wildflower training camp is coming up really, really soon. Um, the new training gear is in the works. Keep your eyes open for that. Pay attention to your training. How are you doing? And I highly recommend you to pick some running events, pick some early season triathlon events. Just get out there and just start playing. And it's, it's a great way to see what you're doing and how your fitness is doing. So I'm gonna stop the first video right here. The second video is gonna be about how to do a really good running race. This is Coach Todd saying thank you very much and I'll see you in May.